So it's going to be harder for TNT Pro Team, honestly. Uh, with that Harris pickup, it switches things up. It's unique. However, if they just get the right first six to seven minutes, they could potentially force a game number three. But their window is that crucial first six to seven minutes. It has to go right for them. If not, Echo's most likely going to win this game. They need to have a great start as we enter game number two. King Kong will be starting on his orange buff. Meanwhile, for the side of Carl Teasy, he'll be starting on his orange as well, which means they're probably not going to see each other until they fight for that lethal wonder. Yeah, that Leaf of Wanderer is going to be a little bit more crucial here for King Kong. He wants to get a, a, as much of a level advantage as he can over Carl TZ, who will, you know, he's aiming to go for the Snowball first place. Yeah, uh, and the Martins is one of those key the heroes that you can really do it with so quickly. And it looks like they're not going to fight for the Lethal Wonder. It's still going to be King Kong securing that uh, early lead. And as you said, Renmar, uh, the window for TNC is early game. They need to be able to secure early kills here for the side of the Fanny for them to secure a game number three. Looking at the emblems real quick, Renmar, is there anything in particular that uh, catches your eye? Uh, just the Festival of Blood on the Harith, actually. Uh, going after the region instead, you've got Assassin emblems. Uh, Assassin emblems were the ones built for the Fanny and the Valentine, as expected, but there's actually three. There's an Assassin emblem on the carry who just got taken out. Three members being used by TNC to get that first blood right there, adding to that 75% that they had earlier. And this could be uh, this could be really good for them. They just need to hold on, man. That's the start you want. Yeah, really great start here for TNC. All according to Keikaku. Now, 12 seconds from now, huh? the first turtle will be uh, spawning TNC. Holds great control over it, but Echo is already there, just making sure to hold over the area. Yeah, one thing I'm looking at, though, uh, watch out the mid lane, is actually the matchup of the Uranus and the Exborg. Uh, Hesu should be up onto San Sanford's face way more often. This is a matchup I like as Uranus player going up against an Exborg. 2v3 right now, Carl TG and Sanford are alone. Has that Karaga armor retribution can be on point. Not much that TNC can do against that. Sanji is here, so. Could be dangerous here for TNC if they don't back off. They will do that right now. And it's a sad play coming in from TNC considering that Echo secured a kill on King Kong and also secured that first <laughs> turtle of the game. And it just slows the pace down for TNC, which the Phoenix Army doesn't like. That's true. At the very least, you know what? They can't really do invades on the purple buff. So that's something TNC has going for them right now. Yeah, and right now it's a 300 gold difference between Innocent and Benny Cutie. It should be balanced uh, a little bit now that uh, Benny Cutie actually got the Crab Coin, but oh, the, man, King Kong's gonna need help. No! Oh, he gets it, he gets it. He gets he got it, right he got it. All right, again, everyone knows this by now. Fanny players just gotta get that purple buff. Uh -huh. And that's something that, it's interesting for me that Echo's trying to friend this, knowing that, you know what, they don't really have all the tools yet. Yeah, and to actually take it. And honestly, the only tool that they have right now is Sanji on this Petrify Kadita. He has yeah. enough damage to secure kills on King Kong. It, it just has to land. Just like with any Kadita combo, you just gotta have it dead center for it to have enough damage to 100 to none anybody from early oh. to the mid. Goes in, Carl Tz, he's knocked up. So he's a mortal coil, no imminent. Imminent danger here for Echo for now, but TNC looking a lot cleaner here or breathing a lot better. A generally slow game here, and uh, you do not want that if you're TNC. You kind of want to get early kills, but looks like they're forced to play defensively. Now Carl TZ, ahead by one level, trying to steal away or threaten this goal. Oh, Did he use his retribution? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. no one used the retribution there. Which is quite difficult to see who was actually able to take it. I wasn't looking at the XP bars. But anyway, it's TNC Pro Team. Uh, they're going to need to pick up the pace eventually. Um, but because of the lineup here of Echo... Oh, JP might get caught out. In a set. Uh, so risky here for Daddy. JP already using the Wave Dragon just to make sure he gets out alive. Innocent, not the, not the best positioning of the Zaman Force, but again, it will be enough to push him back. Turtle though, definitely going to go over to Echo once more. Yeah. TNC, uh, they will fight for his purple here. Can he actually take it down? Ooh. No, he wasn't able to take it. Carl TZ with a retribution steal. And he gets away with it. Man, how Echo are just playing this. 
or maybe how TNC is having difficulty playing this. They've looked completely off their timers. Uh, they're a step behind constantly. Is it because of Sanji and Carl Tizzi frequently going into the uh, in, into the rock column, into the purple buff area, into the uh, into the green camps? That's throwing off King Kong and Ben Thinks. Ben Thinks looks a step behind. It's like he's having difficulty trying to determine the right. A place to go because of the tempo uh, uh, difference between him and Acho, and the fact that Echo can actually target multiple parts of the map at the same time separately. It and actually would seem like Benting's just reacting right now. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, okay. Cash. No flicker anymore on JP. All right. That was a very aggressive play coming in from JP. And looks like without a flicker, JP has to resort and landing his. Uh, Wait oh, a minute, Sanji. Oh. Man, that could have been something there. Nice Petrify, but will be reacted very well by TNC at the end. Yeah, Purify utilized there, and you see now the Uranus just doing Uranus things at this point. But him and Sanford have been uh, effectively left out of this game, just both managing the EXP lane. And the first six to seven minute window for TNC has not gone their way. The only good thing going for them is that they've kept it close, but it's still Echo is control with how constantly they've been invading. It's 4v3 right now, and Hesu's in a pretty good position to box. JP and Sanford in. Carl DC doing pretty good damage as well, threatening everyone else on TNC. They oh. can't really get close here. And is that going to be a... Ah, oh, there it goes again. Oh, no. Still without the purple. It's going to be a but bad time here for King Kong. It's really, really hard to play this Fanny without your purple buff. It's hard to play any assassin against one of the kings of the assassin role. True. So <laughs> Carl DC knows how to get this Ooh. done. Ooh. But they are able to secure that turtle, and TNC gets their first turtle of the game. So that's one out of three turtles, but looks like Echo, they're going to trade here for the turret. Innocent might be in trouble. JP, oh. 3v1. Oh, Daddy JP, going to be in trouble here. No way out right now, so it seems. Okay, that's something TNC can actually build on. It was a great call by TNC to continue and force that turtle. Oh, 1v1, one, one one. are they gonna, uh, they're not gonna, oh, the bottom! On the side, Sanji, well, that, that was a close call right here. TNC capitalizing on the fact that Benny Cutie can't really do much on this carry without anyone on the front for him. Oh wow, TNC finally found the, a string of correct calls. They rushed that turtle, they got to help Innocent, they took down JP and they converted that into a push into the bottom lane. Things are starting to build up. That six to seven window has now been extended just a little bit. If they can get and string together some key wins from seven minutes up until 11 to 12, then it's going to swing towards TNC. Looking at the items, Dreadnought Armor already built up by Carl Teasy. No full build just yet. Just a chop suey of different items for him. And right now we're just waiting to see uh, how, who's going to get the items first between the two gold laners. Oh no, JP in trouble again and he's going to wow. go down. TNC, as you said, finding the plays left and right. And finally, they do hold a good amount of items to burst down people from the side of Echo. There he goes, the advantage you get with that Edith, the point and click, chain crowd control on you. Any yeah. single target is in trouble. Look at them, they keep moving. No Sanford. immortality for Sanford. Yeah, Sanford, oh, wow, easy. wow. That's a pretty good pathing there, if you ask me. Yeah, <laughs> one bot on crossover. Three people already out with one blazing, I uh, mean, last insanity. Echo still, uh, this is a very equalized game. They are looking for a possible late game insurance in the hands of Benny Cutie, but that's gonna happen a few minutes from now. Right now, TNC in the lead by 400. You know, they could have swapped out Blazing Insanity and Last Do It. At some point in time, yes. Blazing oh. Insanity for export, that would have been Blazing great. Insanity Blazing Duet. Insanity. Last, last Duet. Last Duet sounds so uh, edgy. It, I love it. It is it. so edgy. Doesn't it? I just thought about it. Or, or Final Duet. No, Last Duet. Last, last Duet, last yeah. duet <laughs> you know? Do we have a final skill? Final already? Slash. And there you go. So there it is. It's going to be Sanford forced out of that flicker. JP, wrong angle on the kick right there. No one to answer. And that's going to be uh, TNC with the advantage on that one. Wow. Finally getting some pretty good leads over Echo, at least in terms of map. Yeah, but the gold is definitely close. Petrify used here by Sanji. And now Hesu will be tanking four members from the side of Echo. Oh, no mana. Oh, Benicuti is still waiting for Sanji. Oh, the Lord can take in. him. Oh, that was close. Big. Conceal, Ben thinks. There you go, the re-engage from Echo looks really, really good. JP looking for one target to kick back. There goes the last Sally. Everyone's just going oh. crazy right now. Sanji with a Lord take. Here comes King Kong. 
bit late to the party here. Will not run out of energy, but takes out JP with him. There's oh. a flicker in by Benny Cutie. That carry oh. is going crazy right now. And there it is. That's the advantage that Echo has. Finally back on the driver's seat. Two for one plus the Lord. Echo King with Kong. a great play, but King Kong looking for the kills. Carl TZ a little bit tanky and cannot go in. Yeah. Now Sanji looking for the King of the Apes, but he's able to go out. That was pretty fun to watch. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Echo, everyone's just super low right oh! now. There you go, Carl TZ bursts it down. With the Valentina. Now Hesu could still be in trouble. But no Benicuni decides to back off. Will Sanji and oh! up. There goes the burst with King Kong follow suit. Ben Things looks to be the next member to join King Kong, but he's able to dash out to safety. But he goes right back in. Ben Things knocking up a one. That's Sanford. And they're able to back off from that fight. The Lord is marching down bottom lane, and Echo could go in for a big push. Ah, so scrappy between these two teams. Just keeps fighting, counting abilities left and right. That Lord going to the side of Echo was just well calculated. I don't think TNC expected that Echo would actually just continue to fight and push on forward. TNC thought uh, that Echo were going to be going for that uh, little Lord Cha-Cha, but no, Echo just went, no, we're doing this now. And that yeah. got TNC off guard because King Kong had to get his purple buff first, and by the time he could get close enough to the Lord, Sanji already actually got the last hit on him. Yeah, now Echo with a 2k gold lead, still trying to control the purple buff of TNC, will be able to secure it for themselves. A crucial steal coming in from Echo as the Lord push is already over. We're gonna go in for another reset here, but Benicuti is starting to hurt. Let's look at the items brought to you by FWE Life Insurance. What can we see here, um, Renmar? Actually, both gold laners have their three items already. The scythe, the staff, and the DHS for the carry. And then you also have the feather, the crystal, and the, well, the other scythe <laughs> for, for the Harith. Starlium scythe. Starlium scythe. Yeah. yeah, both of them scythes. So now TNC, it's a good scythe sign for them that uh, the gold laners have, their gold laner has the item they need. So they just need to... Uh, refine things in their approach to the fight. And I think one of the reasons why they're also very cautious in terms of how they're fighting now, uh, one thing that they worked on in uh -huh. uh, in the first game was that now they're really watching out for the last insanity and for the po potential decimation chains coming in from Carl TZ. They're respecting the big name ultimates of Echo, which is why we're seeing a little bit more slightly reserved TNC in their teamfight approach. Yeah, and King Kong uh, uh, still able to put down pressure despite not getting a lot of kills. This is a very important aspect respect to playing Fanny from behind, Ooh. putting being able to put in pressure is uh, the second best thing that you could do as a Fanny player. Second best thing that you can do as a Fanny player. What's the first? What's the first? Killing everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. Thank oh, JP! Oh, JP, Purify, gonna be forced out of Innocent. That is a huge tool that Innocent actually needed to sustain these fights. Lord is going down so, so quickly. Benny Cutie and Carl DC behind. Oh my goodness, Echo. Big Lord right there underneath the nose of TNC. And they're begging for TNC to go in because they're going to do that. And Sanji will be able to just go out via that rock oh, that thing's counterplay. Beautiful conceal push here by TNC, whittling down the members. Oh, wow. Oh, that go. Look at that. Benicuni, he's in position. So this carry hurts. Oh, oh he's this in. guy hurts. This it's guy gonna hurts. It's going to be enough, though. Oh, JP with the oh. No one is damage on the back, though. That's going to be trouble for the world champion, Sanford, all alone. But he's going to go for the chase. He's going to go for the chase. All right. He's going to go for the chase. And now King Kong is left to defend against a Lord push. And Sanford will be cashing in on the other things that's left. But TNC, they're able to secure four kills against an Echo squad that had all the gold on their side. Uh, actually, you mentioned there earlier, Echo was begging TNC to fight. It looked more like TNC was actually begging Echo to fight. It's like they were deep. Oh, wait, Sanford! Sanford's got good damage right now. Oh, the Wrath! This the X wrath. But the Wrath is going to be enough to save him. Oh! oh. Going to be taking him one down with him. What a fight! She says the guy on the upper right corner of your screens. What a game! Sudden burst of excitement, and we talked about the TNC. Even though Echo were the ones in control, they just needed to refine their team fight approach. They were able to take down four members of Echo, eventually turned into five, 
and now we've got ourselves a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is far closer than you think. Not just in terms of the gold, but in terms of who could win it. It's just going to boil down to one fight, going wrong or going right. And both teams acknowledging that the other has a tool to turn it around. You have to watch out for King Kong's late entry, who at this point is already building up to his final item. Even bit built up a rose gold meteor to make sure that he gets a little bit of shielding when he gets bursted down by the magic of the Kadita. Man, this is straight up entertaining. Echo and TNC. Who would have thought that Echo uh, would have this close of a game against TNC who's currently just been OJB. standing now. Esu yeah. will be surviving oh, that fight. entire burst down and now Echo. This might just oh! be a fight, Sanji. They're forcing all the crowd controls on Echo and TNC, they're getting forced on these purifies. Two purifies remaining for Innocent and Goyo. Oh man, Sanji's oh. petrify actually stopped Ben Fix from being able to combo him. He saved his own life there and maybe his team's chances. I oh think wow. So. That's just some high level play that takes high level ice to see. It, honestly, it, you could have slowed that down a bit for me to notice. And now Echo. A very equalized game here. And this will be still a Luminous Lord about to spawn in t 10 seconds. Two more minutes before we see that evolve forward. And they do feel like both teams would want to take it a bit slow right now. Maybe give that time, that two minutes, for the Lord to evolve and bet it all on that team fight that comes before it. That's gonna be a long two minutes, I'm gonna nope. tell you. <laughs> True. But again, that all happens while King Kong does not have a purple buff. And JP oh, oh, and oh. Benny Cutie just wailing on Hesu right now, who still has Purify on cooldown, but he's actually going for the re-engage. And uh, don't forget, TNT's re-engage right now, just super duper good. Yeah, and Echo not wasting any time, pulling that Lord. And oh. now JP! He's gonna go down for sure. 4v5 on the Lord, that is huge here for TNT. Oh, oh Sanji! 35 seconds, King Kong, half HP. Bursted down by Sanji. Now Carl TZ will be holding down the Lord. Ben thinks on the conceal. Trying to go for Carl TZ, but he has the Mortal Coil! Oh, Fight Citizen! Oh my goodness, Carl TZ with the Decimate. He still has that timer up. You gotta be careful if you're TNC. But here comes King Kong. Gonna be taken down by Carl TZ with a double kill. What just happened? Oh my goodness! Ben the humanity! Yay. The storm has come! And now Echo has secured their second lord, no third lord of the game. After the long calm before the storm, suddenly Carlito the Great with his 1,600th kill in FBL BH history came off of the back of a massive double kill. After they took down the juggler of TNC, after they took down Innocent, TNC said, let's take the goat down and they couldn't and he helped turn it around with Benny Cutie. It's a side laners for the side of TNC to defend their base. No Lord push just yet. It looks like Hesu will be the first target. Will they have enough damage to burst him down? Here comes the King of the Apes and now King Kong will be going for his buffs instead. You gotta be careful. Respect the decimate. They didn't do that earlier and they paid for it. And now they will have to face a full force echo oh. with a lord walking on the bottom. King Kong, can he get away? Can he's he get away? Yeah, oh, he's sure. gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be fine. I still have not seen King Kong with a buff all game long. Yeah. <laughs> Massive uh, lord defense here for TNC Pro Team if they can pull it off. It's gonna come from the back of Ben Things. Max Primal Wrath, make the most of a uh, knock-up CC combo that you can get. And that will be your team's best chances! They, ben they go straight for the juggler. As you say, Ben Fink's going down. No immortality available to save him. Vincent taking out as well. Carl TC in the front. And that might be it. Everyone just waiting and waiting. King Kong trying to clear. But Echo secures the sweep. This winning moment is brought to you by your official sponsor, FWD Life Insurance. Echo with a dominant 2-0, but game number two was too close for comfort. Still, our world champions Echo will be securing three points after this victory. Ben thinks it was on him. Banking on him staying alive as that Edith to be able to defend properly. But Echo knew that. Echo understood that. And the moment they found Ben Things, JP, in a snap, kicked him back and took out TNC's chances. Fighting spirit by TNC. 
they got swept, but that game two looked so dang good from TNC Pro Team. That could have been the game that TNC was waiting for, but let's still give a warm round of applause for TNC Pro Team as they exit the stage. A wonderful game two performance. Surely, their rise from the dead is still in the process. Echo, on the other hand, the army of Orcas, which you can see